Jesus have a way of getting your attention when you're lost, when you're close to God, he can spank you back and on the right path. If you're not close to God, you may never see no signs or get no spankings from God or of letting you know that you're on the right track. You're too far from him for him to correct you. But when you're close to God, you can get corrected. When you're close to God, you can get corrected and get back on the right path. Only when you're close to God. You see what I'm saying? So you have to understand that in order to get these signs from God that you're on the wrong path <clears throat> and to get back on the right path immediately, you have to have a heart for God. You ain't gotta be perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm a sinner. I've done some wild things, but nothing, nothing real heartless. But I've done some things that's not like we all, I've done things, but some people do things, faith, you know, they do things on another level, but I'm not perfect um, by a long shot. I'm not perfect by a long shot. But I have a heart for God, and I keep a foot in there. I try to keep both foot in there, but I keep connected with God while I'm still sinning. But that's how everybody always do, not to make excuses for sinning, but unfortunately, we, none of us are gonna ever be perfect. Our spirits can. That's the part that connects with God. But sometimes God, when you when you're connected to God, He will put you in a. He'll give you sight of what what's to come if you stay on that path. And if you stay on that path, and you see God showed you what what what's there, then that's your choice. That's one thing about God, he gives you choice. And if he, if he know you love him, and, he, and, you know, and you know he love you, and he show you, don't go down that path, then don't go. Because after he show you, and you choose to go, you can't blame nobody but yourself. Man, God is everything you could ever think of. He can heal you. I just got healed from something that I never thought you can get healed. I never say I never thought, I never experienced instant healing. For a whole year, I've been having pains around my hip and growing. I've still been being acti active and everything well, through the pain because I just can't stay still. Still been playing basketball, all that. But it's still, you know, I, I, I went to church the other day and I just, he, the preacher just said, I, everybody going to be healed today from any pain. I heard it, but I didn't pay attention to it. I just like praying, you know, I like praying, and right? You know, I like praying in groups with a lot of people because I know there's a power when a lot of people pray at one time. So I just was, I was focused on that, but I heard them. And I, like the next day or two, I got up and I noticed was no pain it was weird around my hips and growing area that it's been like all year it didn't just feel a little better it felt completely healed completely better completely healed and I've never experienced a miracle like that so that was a sign that let me know that it only take one day for your life to change for your finances to change for you to find a husband a wife or whatever. It only takes one day. It makes you say it's no, re it's no need to worry or be anxious for something. Because when God wants you to have something, you're going you to have it. Ain't no if ands, buts about it. When God wants you to have something, you're going to have it. So stay, all, I mean, take my word for it, man. Take my word for it. Man, God is where it's at. I'm imperfect. I, I do this. I do that sometimes. I'm working on God's still working on me. But if you stay connected while you make your bumps and bruises and you sin, if you just stay connected, he can work on your flaws. But he will heal you and allow you to see when you're going down the wrong path. You're going to make mistakes, but certain paths you got to snap back from. 
because it's really, really, it's so much going, so much darkness down that path. Um, okay? Then you get the discernment in your heart. Say, something ain't right with this. Some people don't like you. Not because of what you've done. They don't like the God in you. I'm Alan Ray. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you feel. Also, feel free to subscribe to my uh, Instagram pages, um, all of them. And feel free to press subscribe right here on, um, on YouTube. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Have you ever experienced a miracle or God told you, look, don't go that way because this is what's going to happen if you go that way. I'll let y'all in the comment section. Alan Ray, you know, I'm out.